Stop what you're doing and listen to this. Right now, at this very moment, Dubai has more active construction cranes than New York, London and Tokyo combined. They're building a tower so tall it reaches into the jet stream, an artificial island so massive it's literally sinking under its own weight, and an underwater hotel that could become a death trap for anyone brave enough to stay there. $100 billion. That's more than the GDP of most countries, and Dubai is spending every penny of it on projects that engineers say are either impossible to build or impossible to survive. But here's the part that will blow your mind. Three of these mega projects have already failed catastrophically and had to be completely restarted. The costs have tripled, the timelines have exploded, and some of the world's best engineers are walking away because they refuse to put their names on structures they believe will collapse. I'm about to take you inside the most insane construction boom in human history. You'll see why the world's tallest building keeps falling down before it's even finished. Why a $20 billion artificial island is cracking apart as fast as they can build it. And why Dubai's floating city could become the most expensive maritime disaster ever recorded. By the end of this video, you'll understand why Dubai is either building the future of human civilization or creating the most spectacular engineering failures the world has ever seen. And the scariest part, we're about to find out which one it is, because what they're calling visionary development might actually be the most expensive mistake in construction history. The $500 million tower that keeps collapsing. Three times. That's how many times Dubai has had to restart construction on what's supposed to be the world's tallest building, the Dubai Creek Tower, designed to soar over 1,000 meters into the sky. And every time they think they've solved the engineering problems, something catastrophic goes wrong. Foundation cracks that could topple the entire structure, wind load calculations that were completely wrong, and concrete that keeps failing under stresses that push the absolute limits of physics. But here's the insane part. They're not stopping, they're doubling down. Right now across Dubai, construction crews are working around the clock on the most ambitious collection of mega projects in human history, $100 billion. This isn't just about building something tall, it's about building something that shouldn't exist. When you go beyond 1,000 meters, you're not just constructing a building, you're creating a structure that extends into the jet stream where commercial aircraft fly. The wind forces at that altitude are so extreme that the tower needs to flex up to six meters at the top just to survive normal weather conditions. But here's the engineering nightmare. If it flexes too much, people inside get motion sickness. If it doesn't flex enough, the structure snaps. Santiago Calatrava's original design used a cable-stayed system inspired by a lily flower. Beautiful concept terrible engineering. The cables couldn't handle the dynamic loads, the foundation couldn't support the asymmetric forces, and the entire structure was fundamentally unstable. So they scrapped it and started over three times. The $20 billion island that's literally sinking. Now let's talk about the engineering disaster that nobody wants to discuss. Palm Jebel Alley. This artificial island is supposed to be 50% larger than Palm Jumeirah, with 16 fronds, over 90 kilometers of new coastline, and space for 35,000 residents. Total cost, over $20 billion. But here's what they discovered after they'd already spent billions. The seabed at Jebel Ali is completely different from Jumeirah. The sand is finer, the bedrock is deeper, and the whole thing is settling at rates that are cracking infrastructure as fast as they can build it. Marine engineers are finding subsidence rates of up to 15 centimeters per year in some areas. That's enough to crack foundations, rupture utility lines, and make buildings uninhabitable. They've had to completely redesign the breakwater systems four times because the original calculations were based on Palm Jumeirah's geology, which doesn't exist at Jebel Ali. The $7 billion ghost city that nobody lives in. Here's the project that perfectly captures Dubai's build first, think later philosophy. Dubai South, $7 billion invested. A massive city built around Al Maktoum International Airport designed for 200 million passengers annually. Thousands of residential units, office towers, shopping centers, and logistics facilities spread across 145 square kilometers. Occupancy rate, less than 30%. It's a ghost city in the desert. 
brand new buildings sitting empty while maintenance costs burn through hundreds of millions annually. The promised airline hub never materialised because carriers preferred Dubai International's established infrastructure. But here's the really crazy part. They're still building more. More residential towers, more office space, more infrastructure for a city that nobody wants to live in. The Expo City money pit that never stops burning cash. After Expo 2020 ended, Dubai decided to transform the site into a permanent city of the future. The transformation costs are staggering. $3 billion to convert temporary pavilions into permanent facilities, plus ongoing operational costs exceeding $500 million annually. But here's the problem. Most international companies that participated in Expo 2020 have zero interest in maintaining permanent operations there. The promised tech hub is struggling to attract major tenants. The sustainability features are proving incredibly expensive to maintain. Dubai is essentially running a massive theme park for innovation that costs billions but generates minimal economic activity. The floating city that could become a death trap. One of Dubai's most insane projects is the floating city development. Artificial islands and floating structures designed to house 20,000 residents on the water. The engineering challenges are unprecedented. The Persian Gulf experiences summer temperatures exceeding 50 degrees Celsius, which causes massive thermal expansion in building materials. Winter storms generate waves over 4 meters high, and the corrosive saltwater environment destroys conventional construction materials within years. But here's what marine engineers are really worried about. Emergency evacuation. If something goes wrong on a floating city, how do you evacuate 20,000 people? Traditional emergency services can't reach floating structures quickly enough to prevent catastrophic loss of life. The $15 billion museum district that nobody visits. Dubai is building an entire cultural district with world-class museums, including partnerships with the Louvre and Guggenheim. Construction costs exceed $15 billion, with the Guggenheim Dubai designed to be the largest Guggenheim museum in the world. But here's the cultural reality. Dubai doesn't have the local population to support world-class museums. Tourism provides some visitors, but nowhere near enough to justify operational costs of hundreds of millions annually. These museums will require permanent government subsidies, making them incredibly expensive cultural vanity projects that drain resources from more practical infrastructure needs. The Hyperloop Fantasy That Defies Physics Dubai has invested over $500 million in Hyperloop technology. Passenger pods traveling through vacuum tubes at speeds up to 1,200 kilometers per hour. The Dubai Abu Dhabi route could theoretically reduce travel time from two hours to 12 minutes. But here's the reality. Hyperloop technology has never worked at commercial scale. The test tracks work for short distances with no passengers, but scaling up to carry thousands of people daily presents enormous technical and safety challenges that haven't been solved. Dubai is essentially funding science fiction with taxpayer money. The underwater hotel that could become a tomb. The Hydropolis Underwater Hotel project represents one of Dubai's most technically insane developments. A luxury resort built 20 meters below the Persian Gulf surface. The engineering requirements are staggering. Pressure-resistant construction, emergency evacuation systems, life support redundancy, and structural integrity that can withstand underwater conditions for decades. But here's what safety experts are terrified about. If something goes wrong underwater, evacuation is nearly impossible. Fire suppression doesn't work underwater. If structural integrity is compromised, guests could be trapped with no escape route. The project has been delayed repeatedly as engineers struggle with safety systems that have never been required for civilian construction. The vertical farms that ignore basic economics. Dubai is building massive vertical farming towers designed to produce food locally using hydroponic systems, LED lighting and climate control in buildings over 30 stories tall. The technology is impressive, but the economics are insane. Vertical farming is incredibly energy intensive. The electricity costs for LED lighting and climate control make the food produced more expensive than imports, even with Dubai's subsidized energy prices. 
These towers require ongoing subsidies to remain operational, making them expensive experiments rather than economically viable agriculture. The smart city infrastructure that's already obsolete. Dubai is spending billions on smart city infrastructure. Sensors, fiber optic networks, AI traffic management, and integrated urban systems. But here's the problem. Technology evolves faster than infrastructure. By the time these systems are fully deployed, they're based on standards and protocols that are already being replaced. Dubai is building expensive infrastructure that will need upgrading within years of completion. The labor crisis, hidden behind the glamour. All these mega projects depend on massive numbers of migrant construction workers from South Asia, working in extreme heat for minimal wages. The human cost is enormous. Workers face dangerous conditions, inadequate housing and limited legal protections. Heat-related injuries and deaths are common but rarely reported. International human rights organizations document widespread labor abuses. But construction continues because the projects are too important to Dubai's economic strategy. The climate reality that threatens everything. Here's the existential threat Dubai's planners are ignoring. Climate change is making the region increasingly uninhabitable. Summer temperatures regularly exceed 50 degrees Celsius. Humidity makes outdoor work dangerous for much of the year. Sea level rise threatens coastal developments. Extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and severe. Dubai is spending hundreds of billions on infrastructure that might become unusable within decades due to climate change. The economic bubble ready to burst. Dubai's construction boom is financed through government debt, foreign investment and speculative real estate purchases. But the economic fundamentals don't support this scale of development. Population growth is slowing, oil revenues are declining, global economic uncertainty is reducing foreign investment. Many projects will never generate enough revenue to justify construction costs. Dubai is building monuments to ambition that will become financial liabilities. The reckoning that's coming. As these mega projects near completion, Dubai faces a moment of truth about whether its development strategy is sustainable. The Dubai Creek Tower might never be completed if costs continue spiraling. Palm Jebel Ali could face structural problems making it uninhabitable. Expo City might remain a subsidized ghost town. Dubai's entire economic model depends on being seen as a place where the impossible becomes possible. If these mega projects fail, it could undermine confidence in Dubai's ability to deliver on its promises. The construction cranes are working around the clock. Billions are being spent monthly. Dubai is racing to complete projects that will either secure its future or bankrupt its dreams. The next few years will determine whether Dubai's mega project strategy was visionary leadership or the most expensive mistake in urban planning history. Dubai is betting everything on the belief that if you build something impressive enough, the world will beat a path to your door. We're about to find out if that's true. We are committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.